Hi guys, Mitchell here, Mitchell, Minnesota. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you like my T-Rex in a Santa hat. Apparently, dinosaur, ugly Christmas sweaters are kind of my thing. That's what I do at this time of year. Um, today I wanted to come to you with a video that I've been really excited for. Um, I'm sure you all have heard of mold wine, which is I believe a Scandinavian as a whole tradition. Um, but I'm gonna be making Norwegian mold wine today as that's my family's background and what I've um, grown up with. And that is called Glug. I'll write it here, Glug. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to do this up. This is just kind of um, what we would do um, and what I do for my family in turn now that I'm older. Um, you can make this non-alcoholic. You can make it um, with different types of sugar depending on your tolerance of sugar. If you are a bariatric patient, if you are non don't drink alcohol. Um, there's a bunch of different ways to do it up, which we'll talk about as we go. Um, so I'll talk about some of the, the ingredients that you're going to need, and then um, we'll go from there. So first, you're going to need um, a bottle of red wine. And I literally went to Total Wine, and this is the Yellowtail Sweet Red Rue. And I, it was like $4. So super cheap. Um, if you don't want to use red wine and you want to make it non-alcoholic, you can use um, grape juice. I've made it with grape juice before, like Concord grape juice, the Welch's stuff, um, and or any other red wine. Literally just, I like it a little bit sweeter even than what it's going to be made to be a little sweeter. So, but there's that. Um, then you're going to need sugar. I have my sugar from Target or... Um, my granulated sugar swerve. You can use that too. Um, it calls for 12 ounces of it. I'm personally not going to be drinking this. I'm going to make it all but for a sip of it. I'm making it for um, my husband and some friends that are coming over. So I'm going to use the regular sugar because how many pounds is this? Four pounds was two bucks at Target and 12 ounces is was nine dollars for my swerve. So I'll make myself a little something with this. Um, so in turn, I'm gonna pull a little bit out of the, the pot and add that sugar to it. Um, you're going to need raisins. You're going to need um, ginger. Um, I just use regular ginger. I mean, you can also probably get the pressed ginger or sliced ginger or whatever. Um, you're going to need whole cloves. I love the smell of whole cloves. It's so Christmassy to me. Um, a lot of people do not like the smell of them. I do. Um, you're going to need uh, cumin or cardamom. I use cumin because it's what we had available. Um, and then you are going to need a cinnamon stick. And um, what makes it Norwegian is the fact that we use this liquor. It's called Aquavit. Aquavit. Um, and if you, first and foremost, if you don't want to use... You could sub this out with rum or vodka or cognac, or if you've got kiddos, you could um, replace it with um, like some sparkling white. Oh man! Hi, hi, honey. <laughs> you could you can uh, replace it with some sparkling white juice from Welch's. Um, that's cool too if you don't want to have any alcohol in it. This is uh, this brand. Uh, God, what is this brand? Uh, Lichol, Lichol, Lichol. Um, it's a Norwegian brand um, from Haga, Norway. It's really good. It's also almost 42%. So it's quite the, quite the, the showstopper, if you will. So um, yeah, so you've got all your ingredients and you're also going to need um, cheesecloth or if you're <laughs> lazy and poor like I am, I use a coffee, gr uh, coffee, filter and to tie it I couldn't find any dental floss that wasn't mint flavored so I'm gonna use um, some leftover Christmas ribbon because that's how we roll in my house um, so yeah so get your ingredients together and then we'll move on to the next step okay guys so the first thing we're going to do is over a medium high heat and I have an open flame so that's how I like it to look you're going to warm your red wine slowly I like to do it kind of medium, medium, because I don't want to screw it up. The longer it pours, the more I feel like an alcoholic. So we're just going to pour that in. There we go. 
Okay, so in my coffee filter again, because I didn't have a spice bag, which is totally fine. You don't have to have the exact ingredients for everything all the time. That's not, that's not real life. So I have a cinnamon stick, my um, cloves, my cumin, um, a two inch piece of garlic. I did a little bit less because it's pretty strong. And then I am just going to tie it up and um, with a piece of rope. So actually, the cinnamon was a little bit too big, which is fine because I actually like to have the cinnamon stick in the um, in the in the wine itself. So everything else is in here, and I like using a coffee filter because they they can hold their weight a lot too. So in the meantime, I am going to add my sugar, um, which is 12 ounces, to my mold wine, or just my wine at this point. Okay, so actually, I'm just I was just poured in my sugar, as you can see, it's still granulated in there. And you're just going to stir it around until it dissolves. And I'm also going to throw in our little pouch here of spices and our cinnamon stick. And I actually may add another one because I really like the cinnamon flavor. So we're just gonna get that all nice and stirred in. I love that ribbon that makes it look so classy, not. <laughs> uh, so once that is all dissolved in, once the sugar is all dissolved in, I'm going to take this off the heat and let it sit for about two hours. All right guys, so two things. So it's been about two and a half hours actually. And I forgot to bring up that we also need almonds for the end. So I have these um, almonds from Kananza Kake, which is another Norwegian dessert. And um, I added a, a couple orange slices because I like the orange uh, flavor that's that citrus in there too, along with our little package. So we need those that I didn't mention, so. So we're about two hours in, two and a half hours in actually, and I'm going to re-put re -put it up to a medium high, and then we're going to add, um, you need half of a bottle of your Aquavit, and this is 750 milliliters, so you need about half of the bottle. So the more I talk, like I said, the more I seem like a lush, because this is already just wine, so why not? Oops, I think we did a little bit more than half a bottle. Oh well, tis the season, right? So then you wanna um, stir your mold, your wine here, your wine and your aquavit um, until just before it reaches a boil. And then we'll come back and we'll add um, the finishing touches. I just started going crazy and adding the raisins and almonds in here without filming it. But so I added, um, it calls for like three and a half ounces of each, but I probably add a little bit more and that's okay. Um, especially the raisins probably can't see them too well. Maybe they're sunk to the bottom. They're gonna absorb a lot of the liquor in here because um, this this thing will catch on fire. Um, so we are just gonna stir it. It's not quite to the boil yet, but I added almonds and uh, raisins. Feel free to add a little bit more if you like or cranberries or whatever you like. That's just what we like to add. All right guys, so I put a little spoon on the side here and an orange to kind of top it off. The spoon is to is to get at those raisins and the almonds that are soaking up all the, the wonderful, wonderful goodness in there. And the orange is just kind of a sweet peat at the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Norwegian mold wine or glug.